In this video, I'll show you how to change the checkout button text in WooCommerce in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so throughout this video, I'm gonna show you how to update this text here, so where it says place order. I'm gonna show you how you can quickly just rename it to whatever you like. Okay, so I'll be using the all-in-one checkout plugin to do so. And to download this plugin, just head over to WeSuite.com. Go ahead and download the all-in-one checkout plugin for WooCommerce by WeSuite. Once you've done so, let's head back over to our dashboard. Okay, so assuming you've downloaded a plugin, just go ahead and upload it. So you just go plugins, add new. Once you've done so, just navigate to AIO checkout menu. If you're already a WeSuite customer, it'll be under the WeSuite menu here. Or if not, you will see the all-in-one checkout menu somewhere around here. Just go ahead and click on it. Okay, and then we'll just create a new checkout form. So you just click create new checkout here. Since I've already created one, I'm gonna go ahead and edit this one here. Okay, so with this checkout form fields here, you can go ahead and rearrange the fields by dragging and dropping it. Okay, you can add new fields onto the page by dragging and dropping it. Okay, and then just to edit our place order button, we'll just navigate to settings. And then here we'll see custom checkout button text. So we can say um, pay now, for example, right? And then we can just go ahead and save changes. So one thing to note before we save changes under the design section. Okay, so if you wanted to use your themes default um, checkout design, just go ahead and select um, no template here. Or you can choose one of our templates. So you can choose from the single column layout, okay, or a two column layout. So choose this two column layout here. I'll click save changes. And now when we refresh this page, this should say pay now. Okay, so let's refresh the page. Okay, and now it says pay now instead of place order. So you can rename it to whatever you like. I've just set it to pay now for now. Okay, okay, you might have noticed as well that we've got various um, order bumps here to help increase um, our average order value and overall revenue on this particular store. So if you're interested in adding this type of functionality to your site, I'll leave a link in the description below and you should also see a pop out banner um, somewhere around this video as well. Okay, and that's how you change the place order text on your WooCommerce checkout page in just a few simple steps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.